Hello, everyone, and welcome to Nonprofit Enthusiast Live. I'm your host, Lashina Williams, and I am so excited to be here with you today and just dive into this month's conversation. And our theme for this month is National Nonprofit Day, fundraising and fund development. We're going to be talking about it all this month. But before we get started, I just wanted to take a moment and recap last month. So last month, we talked about processes and systems for nonprofit organizations. If you missed that, definitely go check out our guide section, or you can also find it on our timeline or even in the video section of the group. You can find um, the last month's conversations that we had. We had an amazing guest that came on and they dropped some gems. So you definitely want to make sure that you check that out. Um, I got some very um, good information out of those sessions. Um, I remember one, uh, Shamika shared the otter, which I've heard of, but when she talked about it, I was like, oh, I got to do that. So I did go and sign up for it. I've been using it ever since um, our conversation and testing it out and found some other cool features in there, such as um, being able to create emails that recap um, the conversation and turn them into bullet points and the action items and all this other amazing things. So I'm, I'm testing it out to see how it works out for me. But um, that was also just, that's a little sneak peek if you missed it as to the conversation that we had last month. Um, so make sure that you go and check that out. And we are dropping the blog. The blog has been updated with some additional resources in there that you definitely want to check out for your organization. So uh, that's that. Another thing that we announced last month that I'm excited about, if you're really ready to elevate your nonprofit to the next level and um, gain insight from other nonprofit organizations along with uh, having a team walking alongside you in a group setting, you definitely want to apply for our group coaching program. The spaces are very limited. We'll be starting in September. So we're opening it up to you all. You all um, are hearing about it first. So we want to make sure that we give the group an opportunity to apply for that. So if you haven't done that, I definitely recommend that you sign up for it. And it's a wonderful way to have us working alongside you over the months and then also having a, a intimate group of, of other founders, executive direct profit leaders that you can call on when you're going through, you know, this wonderful journey of, of the nonprofit sector. So definitely check that out. I highly recommend it. Um, it's going to be some good stuff in there, some really good tools that you can use. Um, and just having that group that you can just go to um, as you face different challenges and just present it and kind of talk through best practices. I mean, you don't want to miss out on this. So please make sure you check that out and apply. So as I mentioned this month, we will be kicking off the theme of National Nonprofit Day fund development, and fundraising. So that's our theme for this month. So um, I'm excited because today I'm going to kind of kick off the conversation. We have some amazing guests coming on throughout the month. We'll continue the conversation, but I'm just going to kick start it today. And one of the things is um, I just wanted to bring light to, in case you do not know, August 17th is National Nonprofit Day. Um, it's a wonderful day to just do something, right? We're all in this sector, um, no matter what that thing might mean or be for your nonprofit. So each year, um, uh, nonprofits are recognized on August 17th for their ongoing efforts in serving the, the community. And there's so much wonderful stats that support what nonprofits do, not only for the community, but even for the economy as a whole. So um, this is a day that I believe we all should be celebrating, no matter what that might look like. And I'll drop some, um, we'll talk about some ideas of what that could look like. And um, one idea that comes to mind, it might just be a celebration within your organization. You might just do something special that day, but um, don't let this day go by and not do something. So some things that organizations have done is host public events showcasing their work. Uh, and I know that, you know, 
if, if you have a starter planner, we're getting really, really close. So uh, <laughs> that might not be possible, but you can think about that for next year and add this as a staple on your calendar. Um, launch social media campaigns. You could definitely post around it, educate others around it, and just celebrate this moment. Appreciate dedicated volunteers. Um, you could thank donors with recognition events or in other um, ways of, of recognizing them. You can do that. Collaborate with other nonprofit organizations and, and do something. Or maybe it's a matter of you have another organization that's a good partner. You might make their day um, by doing something on this day. Highlight supportive partnerships. Uh, and you could do that in various ways. Uh, and, and I just kind of talked to one, so I won't stay too long on this one. Spread awareness about nonprofits. So definitely it might be through social media. It might be through um, other mediums, your newsletter, just getting the word out about the work of nonprofits as a whole and the work that you do as a nonprofit organization. Um, and it's a great way to educate others, not only about what your organization does, but what the sector as a whole does. So great time to collaborate. You might launch a fundraising campaign. For some, this might be when that whole push for the end of the year uh, kicks off. Uh, showcase impact um, data associated with the impact that your organization is making in the community. Express gratitude through personalized notes. And these notes might be to your stakeholders, such as your donors, your volunteers, your staff members, your uh, if you're, your clients based on your population. It could be anywhere. The whole point of it is do something. Don't let August 17th come by and we not celebrate this day. It's almost like nonprofits have a birthday right coming up <laughs> and we're not gonna just walk past the birthday without doing anything so do something um on this day no matter how big how small it may be just let's not make this day go by without doing something so with that do me a favor and drop what do you think if you have something planned already for this day drop that in the chat so we can get ideas um, from that um if you are listening and tuning in and your, your ideas are kind of just rolling as to what you can do, drop that in there. Let us know what you're thinking um, about doing around this time. But can we all commit? And this is homework. <laughs> you know, we like to end and have homework, which I'm not ending yet, but um, this is going to be homework. Like, can we all at least commit? Drop a, a um, I'm in in the chat box to doing something. And it doesn't matter how small how big it might be. It might just be calling a colleague and saying, you're doing a good job. I see you, you know, something, just do something that day. Okay. So let's commit to doing something on this day. Um, the other thing we're going to talk about is fund development. So we're going to discuss the importance of fund development for nonprofits. And as you know, um, there's various sources of funding for nonprofits. And oftentimes when nonprofits are getting started, the first thing that I would hear them say is, hey, I need a grant. But there are other ways, um, you know, there's restricted, unrestricted funds, there's um, individual donation, corporate um, sponsorships, other ways of bringing in funds into your organization. So we're going to talk about um, not only the grants, but some other ways to do that uh, within this month. The other thing is friend raising. We'll be talking about that which, you know, we talk about often, you know, going beyond fundraising, but building intentional relationships with, it may be potential, I'll call it potential donors, potential stakeholders, um, just building relationships with people. And I'm just, I, I always love talking about this topic um, and we'll, we'll continue to have this conversation, conversation over the month, but I just kind of want to give you a sneak peek as to what's ahead. And you've probably heard us talk about this before, but it's um, going beyond where fundraising focuses on like the financial contribution of an individual friend raising goes a little bit, well, much more beyond that, building that meaningful relationship, fostering, which um, ends in fostering long-term engagement. So we'll definitely continue to talk about that. Um, and then also, 
fundraising, or kind of talk about how fundraising can go beyond financial contributions and have a broader impact on your community. So, for example, supporters may be, become champions of your organization. And one of the best forms of marketing, in my, my opinion, is uh, word of mouth and um, through people just talking about what your organization um, is doing and just being able to share how they feel being a part or even interacting with you and so forth. So um, friend raising, we'll talk more about that throughout the month. So we got a lot of different topics going on. So this month theme is going to be nonprofit day. So let's we're going to break it into segments because that's coming up on August 17th. Homework is to commit to doing something and not only just committing, Go ahead and, and put that into action, whatever that something is. Um, and then throughout the month, we're going to continue the conversation focusing on fundraising and fund development. And this conversation is one um, in that area of fundraising and fund development. It'll come up a couple more times throughout the year just because of the season we're getting ready to start entering. So make sure that you um, tune in to all of our upcoming sessions. Once again, I want to share with you, in case you are just tuning in, or if you're catching us on a replay, give us a hashtag replay, um, and I'm dropping this QR code up here, um, and I just want to make sure that you all don't miss out on this, because there have been times where I've heard, like, oh, how come you didn't tell me? I'm telling you now. <laughs> we are opening up the applications. The applications are open to apply for our group coaching program that will be starting in September. It's going to be small intentionally. It's going to be um, very intimate, but I'm telling you, it's going to have a great impact on the organizations that do participate. And um, the great part about that is we'll be able to, because of the small intimacy, the goal is to be able to conduct some you know, assessments on the organizations. And, and then we're going to be able to zoom in on, on um, what, the assessments are saying and being able to provide support. This is once again group in a group setting. So it's working together, collaborating, building a team of like-minded individuals. And you all know the importance of being amongst like-minded um, individuals in, in different areas of your life. So this would be an opportunity to do that and so much more. So please, 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 if you're interested, I don't want you to miss the deadline. Um, go ahead and sign up because applications are going to be closing in the next few weeks. But part of it is it's limited and would end up being first come first serve. So make sure that you check that out. Um, I dropped the QR here. So if, whatever you got to do, you can QR it. If you're sitting at your computer, pull your phone up and you can do that and complete the application really quick. And then I also have the link here and we'll drop it in the chat box. Um, if you know someone who you believe this will benefit, and more information is on that um, page for the application. Please share the information with them um, and, and don't let them miss out on this opportunity. So definitely check that out. And another thing along the same lines is that um, you should have seen a poll in the group. So um, take a moment and to take a look at that poll is at the top. We pinned it in the featured section of the group and we want to continue to hear from you. And this is helpful because as we invite guests throughout the year, as we um, develop our content that we're sharing with you all throughout the year um, within the group, along with in our group coaching and other um, areas, this is so helpful for us. So please take a moment and complete the poll. For those of you that completed it, I truly appreciate you all doing so. So um, tell us what are some of the challenges you are facing with your nonprofit organization, whether it's board development, leadership development, grant writing, all of that. Please complete that poll. Let's build this community together. Um, and if you have an area that's not here, you can go ahead and add it to the poll so we can build each other up. So you can add that into the poll as well. All right. And last but not least, friendly reminder, I'm so excited, you all. We are in the 1K Club, um, and we have been getting a lot more um, 
members coming into the group, which has been absolutely amazing because, of course, we're much better together than we are alone. So we're able to learn from each other, grow together. Uh, so I'm excited about that. So please take a moment, invite a friend to the group. Just go up to the, the um, button at the top. And you know how I like to do this. Take a moment, pause, click invite, and just check off a few people and send them the invite so that they can join the group and, and um, catch some of the amazing things that's happening. So other than that, we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Um, I know for a lot of us, school is getting ready to start. There's a lot of new and exciting things coming ahead. And we, we do have some new and exciting things happening right here um, that we're going to be announcing to you all. You do not want to miss it. So please make sure you continue to tune in. And thank you so much for your support. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. All right, everyone. I will see you next week. Bye, everyone. Yeah.